Good morning, folks. We've got more solar activity, a paper on a solar system flyby, and another on major crust disruption potential in the disaster cycle. Let's start with our star, and we find the last 24 hours are dominated by the turning of the dark coronal holes in the bright active regions. We saw another M-class solar flare and a solar wind uptick from a minor coronal hole impact that led to another brief geomagnetic storm condition, which is already waning back this morning. The flare occurred at yet another incoming sunspot group on the north, still firing in directions not aimed at our planet, and it didn't produce much of a CME, although the plasma motion otherwise in the corona is still active as you can see here in 304 angstroms. We will continue monitoring all the sunspot groups today. Our first article is one that makes people think of the Red Crossing Star. 70,000 years ago, Shoal's star red binary system passed through our solar system, sparking the Nibiru stories. That was during the Toba disaster around the same time. And the system is now about 20 light years away and moving further. But scientists have spotted the next several flybys, and that goes for a couple million years out. The next one is about 25,000 years away. This is a different system than the one that passed before and is expected to enter the Oort cloud again in about 25,000 years. By the way, if you heard about people claiming that a system is here now, I checked. They are literally pointing at Jupiter, as was the case in 2012 when they said the same thing. A couple days ago, we revisited the LLSVP internal structures of Earth, saw how they are directly tied into volcanoes at the surface, and mentioned how during the Great Earth Disaster Cycle, they would be partially responsible for mantle heaving, land rising, land sinking, and more. Today, we have a paper that describes how even modern, minor activity associated with them is responsible for considerable crustal deformation specifically near the Indian Ocean geoid low in this study. In the disaster cycle, this internal structure will have a much more profound effect on the crust, including its deformation, as they call it. Tomorrow, we close out the year with a children's book reading at Play Street Museum in Colorado Springs. Kat will be reading from our children's science books to the little ones. Bring them if you live nearby. And, again, come out to the Cheyenne January 7th event for our 2023 kickoff. Look forward to seeing many of you out there. Tickets for both events are at the links below the video, along with links to our books and playlists and much more. We greatly appreciate your support. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.